The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Premier. The short-term rental market in this province is officially out of control. Short-term rentals have removed 740 housing units from Halifax's long-term housing market. Adding to this, Halifax's short-term rental market is dominated by entire home listings, 61% of which are suitable for families with two or more bedrooms. It is unacceptable that in the midst of a housing crisis, this government has waited so long to act. Mr. Speaker, will the Premier admit that this situation has been left to spiral out of control? The Honourable Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the Honourable for the question. Uh, we've continued, Mr. Speaker, to provide rent subs in, uh, across the province, across this region, Mr. Speaker. We've supported with young families who first time home buyers program. We're pleased to see a number have purchased that, Mr. Speaker. Continue to invest, Mr. Speaker, in our shelters across the province, provide support. Uh, and we'll continue to make sure, Mr. Speaker, that we provide affordable housing. Uh, not only in the capital region, but in and around the area, Mr. Speaker, and we'll work with our external partners to ensure uh, that we continue to grow the housing stock to meet the needs of our citizens. The Honourable Member for Halifax Needham. Mr. Speaker, rent supplements do not replace units that have disappeared from the market. We have finally received a glimpse into the Liberals' plan for regulating the short-term rental market, and the results are profoundly disappointing. There is no plan to require that all units are registered and no ability for municipalities to halt the proliferation of short-term rentals. A full-time commercial short-term rental with over five bedrooms will only have to pay $150 a year, and lucrative platforms like Airbnb, $500 a year. The plan is weak, and it won't contribute nearly enough revenue that could be invested to build affordable housing in the midst of a housing crisis. Mr. Speaker, does the Premier have any interest in curbing the significant impact of lucrative commercial short-term rentals on this province's housing market? The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, I'll ask the Minister of Business to respond. The Honourable Minister of Business. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Look, uh, we're certainly uh, aware of the impact of the, of the, uh, the sharing economy, the short-term housing, uh, short-term rental market, and how it's impacted not only the province, but certainly specifically here to Halifax uh, and the HRM region. Um, look, there was no, there was no supports, there was no um, recordings, there was no track, no control whatsoever of the short-term uh, housing market, how it was impacting the housing stock here for all Nova Scotians. Uh, our registration system will do that. Uh, it'll give, it'll, it certainly will, Mr. Speaker. I, I, I fundamentally disagree with the NDP's position on this. It's not $150 for their, their uh, participation. It's $150 for their registration. They still have to pay taxes. They still have to do all the other things now that our traditional uh, tourist accommodation operators have to do. So without question, we've leveled the playing field, but this system will give us the data so we can address the very issue that the member is bringing up. Thanks.